the youth are in Kenya. Youth are going out of the country because they cannot get themselves for a sustainable life that they need as people. The reason is this. Ruto is doing one thing which is called divide and rule method. For the stability of the country to be there, young people must be there to work. The basic necessities that we, we need as human beings are food, shelter, and clothing. And if you cannot get all these three things, there's a problem wherever the environment you are. So Ruto is doing this. Ruto is imposing tax and making life difficult for youths in Kenya so that they can go out in order to remain with Wasais so that he can rule as many times as he can. <laughs> because when the youths are not there, the security of these people, all the families, will not be there. Eight people cannot make the security. When your mother is there, you are outside Kenya. Anything can be done to him or her. And this is what Ruto is trying to do. So if we are youths in Kenya today, if we are not going to be aware the kind of leadership that Ruto is offering to Kenyans, then things will not work for you guys. I'm requesting each and every youth, Musiende Inje. Kaini Kenya, wasababu mukienda inje, wasasiwaki wenu wakibaki, Ruto atawatumia vibaya na ukirudi utapata Kenya si vinulia uliacha. Ka hapa, iu gumu mkwe nayo na mkwe. Ka kidete, Ruto atatoka na mutapata ile kiongozi ambayo mnataka kama wa Kenya. I'm going to the second murder, number five. After Saba Saba, should we, should we expect positive change? Raila himself cannot bring a positive change to all Kenyans if you are not going to participate. And the only person that Ruto will have to hear is the ordinary citizens, Kenyans. Raila is just a leader and giving ways to us for us to get a better life. But if you are going to be dormant, wherever you are, and you are expecting to get a positive change in your life, then things will never work. So I'm urging each and every person, ikifika siku ya saba saba, jitokezeni tuwele. Ata ukikufa leo lakini mtoto yako amebaki lakini kesho atakuwa na wesa mazuri, it is better. Because life, we have to prepare ourselves for a better fit for those who are remaining. And finally, the current regime, uh, but, uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Uh, MP planning to regulate demonstrations if, if it is possible. In our constitution, there is a chapter that talks about the demonstrations and picketing. So, Chenya Najaribu Kusema, my MP, Sama Uyo MP, Nikito Nataka Kutuskia, Akiliyetu Ama Vile Tutaongea, Ama Tukimjibu, Ata Yanajua. Demonstration is ikukukatibu, lakini kwa sababu ya wabunge wa Kenya kwanza ni wajika kushinda vile wanajijua. Wanakuja katuna mambo singine ili wapimi akili wa Kenya, wasikie, hao mutafanya nini? Mutariak. There's nothing like that. Hakuna vile ata stop demonstration in Kenya because it is there.